Okay, let's have a look at an example how we could uh, use different groups and assign different permissions to different groups. If you remember our website, we've got uh, needle trees and leaf tree articles. So let's say we want um, an author who can write articles, but uh, one of them is the needle tree specialist. They can only write needle tree articles. And we've got another author or a group of authors, and they are the leaf tree specialists. They can only write leaf tree articles. So let's have a look at our groups. And I, I want uh, a group similar to author, which means uh, you know they can write articles, they can log into the site. And yeah, they can create new articles and they can edit their own articles. So I want a child of author. So I want a new group. Let's call it Needle the Author. And I say the parent should be author, which means it will inherit all the different uh, permissions from author. And I also I save it and I create an, another one that is uh, <coughs> leave the author and that's also a child of author. Save and close. Now we've got author. Editor is a child of author. Publisher is a child of editor. And then we've also got leave the author and needle the author as childs of author. I now want to change uh, the permission for these groups. Um, so a leaf tree author should be able to write articles in the leaf tree category. Let's do that first. So we go to categories, uh, leaf trees. And let's look at the permissions for this category. So if we look at this category and if we look at uh, the permissions for this category, for this specific group, then we can see um, that this group can create articles. The settings are inherited from the parent, which means it's just exactly the same as the parent, which is author. So because the author has permission to create articles, the child automatically gets permission to create articles. Author is not allowed to delete, which means the child, leaved the author, is also not allowed to delete <coughs> in this category. The same for edit and state, not allowed by default, but edit your own article by default is allowed. So this looks all right. Uh, the leaved the author group can do everything an author can do but we want to restrict it so that the leaf tree authors can only write in the leaf tree category but they cannot uh, write articles in the needle tree uh, category and the other way around so we we are looking at the leaf tree category so the needle tree authors should not be allowed to uh, create articles here. So I can explicitly deny uh, the permission to create. And now this calculated setting changed from an implicit allow to an basically to an explicit denied. So overall, it's not allowed anymore. We also added own. Yeah, you know, I, I, I could leave that, I guess. There is uh, one problem with this approach, and the problem is that a user could be in more than one group. So when you set up uh, your specific site, think about whether a user could be in the leaf author, leaf the author group, and in the needle the author group together. Because if we explicitly uh, deny access, 
that user will not be allowed access so th think about what makes sense for your site but in my simple example I'll leave it like this so uh, needle to the authors can't create articles in the leaf to the group sorry in the leaf to the category So needle the that's allowed, but lift the authors should not be allowed to create articles in the needle the category. Okay, let's try it out. Let's see whether that works. So I create a user. name Peter and we want to assign Peter, so he's a leafed the author, so he should be able <coughs> to write uh, leafed the articles, but he shouldn't be able to write needled the articles. Let's try it out. Peter. Okay, and at the moment actually there is no menu here um, to write articles. Let's see whether we can log on to the back end. No, yeah, I'm not I don't have access to log on to the back end. I want to create a new menu item to create articles. And who should have access? Remember this is the the viewing access. This should only be visible to special users, to users you know, who are author and above. Okay, save and close. Let's defresh the page. Create an article. So, um, be honest, I forgot which uh, which these we covered. So this is a test three. This is a test test three. Okay, what category? Look, I can only pick leaf three. I can't pick needle three. Because Peter doesn't have access to needle to these. No. So I've submitted the article, but I can't publish the article. It's also not visible. So in the back end, 
Um, let's have a look at all the articles. And we've got our test tree here. Leaf tree category. Author is Peter, but it's not published because uh, Peter doesn't have permission to publish the article. But a publisher, or in this case me as the super user, I could publish the article. So let's refresh. So I'm logged in as Peter. I look at all the leaf trees. Here's the test tree. And Peter can edit the test tree article. Because authors have this permission to edit their own articles. But Peter shouldn't be able to edit any of the other articles that he hasn't done himself. But he can edit the articles he has done himself. 